alive for one of the most glamorous, dangerous, and thrilling roller coaster rides of the season. It is the Monaco Grand Prix for F R L F three. And joining me in the commentary box, as always, is none other than James Head fourteen. Hello everyone. Good evening. Um, I'm not sure what I'm ex- going to expect in here. <laughs> a crash I- I'll put a prediction down right at the beginning of the stream by saying I will. Th- I think we're going to have six finishes. Six finishes. Ooh. Uh, we're definitely going to see at least five crashes, I think. So five crashes, five crashes. Whoever gets caught up in them is beyond us, really. <laughs> first one. To, I mean, we can predict the first one to crash, like during, I guess, qualifying. First of all, <clears throat> yeah, um, because they're all probably gonna lose a bit of their front wings during the race anyway, like the race starts. Danny, Danny Reese so. has got an injury, but he's playing on Fortnite. Hmm. Hmm. Remix. Unless he has a steering wheel, who knows? Anyway. Okay. Hammer's killer. Oh, Javier Rams is on. Yep, yeah, I will have a look at my invitation list. See if there's anyone else. You nearly, okay. Duze Gaming, get on F1. It's on FIFA 19. Someone has. Uh, James Killer's currently doing nothing, but he's got a quality ban. Wicked. Oh, has he? Is he online? Wow. Well. Is that the first time you see them in the game? Because, like, I. Oh, man. Australia, if I recall. Uh, was he in Australia? He was in one of the first two races. And then he didn't bother showing. Wicked Gumba's re- actually here. Oh, oh he's here. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Wicked Gumba uh, is here, making his return. Brilliant. Let's have a check on the comments. We've got one more space and we'll have a full grid. You can't Monica. hear me well. Right, I shall turn up my mic. And if that's the case. I can hear myself and I've got my volume on uh, two on my iPad, so. Oh, alright, okay. How do you turn up your mo- microphone volume again? I don't know, I mean, Is if, it you haven't, party settings? if you haven't changed anything, then I think you'd be okay. Um, alright, let me right, check. We... Yeah, I think it should be best now. Um, right, one yeah, more... Yeah, now. Okay. One more space. One more. And the time is 58, so two minutes. Oh, there we go. Ooh. And Ooh. we got the full lobby. Yeah. Lovely. Okay. I'm going to go into spectator so I don't make the same mistake as I did last week. Um, oh, my goodness me. Don't, I... You don't, you don't yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I'll do? I'll actually invite. I'll uh, send out another batch of invites. And then you can get started. Oh, yeah. Kill me. Danny Reese. Mr. Wallbank. So Mr. interesting. Remix. Yeah, as you're doing Wallbank. that, just want to point out then that we're actually going to have, because uh, I think Pierre, Pierre Gris, I don't think he raced before this season. I think he did pre season testing, which is uh, probably oh, that's what you were thinking of. Either. Yeah. So officially in this race, in Monaco, we have Pierre Gris, uh Davy, who only did pre season testing as well. Sciotta, yeah. He's, he's, on FIFA. he's on FIFA, yeah. I mean. Uh oh how do you how could I say that? Oh Jessica Oh Jake. 
I'm uh, I'm all Jake. I'm just. <laughs> oh Jake. Going. Okay. Oh Jake. Is, uh, right. Come then. Start. Yeah. I think we're going. Wicker Goomba. So we got three people who this will be their first race this right. season. Everyone's just got another back spectate. of invites there. I'm on spectate. I'm on spectate. Everyone is okay. on spectate. I'm on spectate. There we go. <laughs> that's what we did. Everyone was in cars anyway, so uh, we would have just been spectating, which is decent. Um, mm -hmm. Good evening, Unseen. If I need my internet to hold up, it'll be catastrophic if it fails. It will be catastrophic if it fails. Um, Mr. Small Guy is putting in the comment section as well. Any views on ZZ Public on Saturday? Now, we've had a discussion, and I can confirm to viewers that um, Lightning Kimmy, Alienware, and ZZ Public, all of his accounts will be, <laughs> I think, um, I think it's came to the conclusion, or actually, I'll let Ball Boy say what uh, his decision is. Yep, yeah, so um, a lot of people have uh, expressed their concerns about it, and um, I don't think it's right for him to be racing um, at all again this season. Um, under the circumstances that happened in well starting from Australia, Bahrain, China was the only good race that he had um, we saw a few in instances in Baku but it wasn't major and then things got worse again in Spain so um, mm -hmm. yeah there's at this point I don't think I can do anything else, I can't give him another chance so yeah that is uh, that is that, but um, of course the stewards will have their say, and I'll be uh, announcing something soon before the Monaco Grand Prix itself. But um, for sure, I don't think you'll see him race uh, from this week onwards until whenever. But um, I need to give people a chance to send in their footage. Um, and that is what we're doing now, so that's why you probably haven't seen an announcement yet. So that's the situation there for I'm everyone. I'm just going to go downstairs for two minutes. I'll be back. Okay. All right, everyone. It's time for a solo commentary of qualifying for a couple of minutes. Um, first one to crash is um, a nice game we like to play when we... <laughs> venture off into this circuit and someone's already crashed I think maybe not uh, but I'm going to put my predictions for the first one to crash and retire to be Wicked Goomba because I haven't actually seen him on this game ever before um, so I think he's literally just got the game and he's already in a league race in the thick of the action so um, yeah, it'll be an interesting one to look out for. Uh, but for pole position, I think it's going to be David Warbank. Um, P2 will be FIFA Gamer. And third, I am going to give it to... I'm going to give it to Fakie. That's my top three. And oh, we've already seen a crash. And it is Dumelios who has retired somewhere. And there's Ash's uh, fantastic connection there for you. Um, right, let's try and change these settings so you can actually see the sector times. There we go. Right, here's Glocky now, who had a fantastic past two races, finishing in fourth place in both the Spanish Grand Prix and the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. And he's heading down into the chicane, locks up a little bit. And that's a near perfect line there. And Mads is also out. So Mads, oh, and well, there's his car, and that call out Glocky there, who thought he was going to be done for this session. But uh, luckily, ghosting is on. Hashtag ghosting lives matter. And Piegri is also out. So three retirements already. This track is one of the most difficult to get right. But when you do, it does feel very special indeed. Piegri has actually left the session, so hopefully he can join back. Um, uh, he's probably going to do some time trial laps, actually, uh, before he joins. 
Um, but yep, yeah, so Glocky is going for another run, but let's have a look at somebody else because Ash is the only one really who has started to, or actually officially set a lap, and OJ comes across the line, goes 1.5 seconds down, and Komi beats his teammate by two tenths of a second, or over two tenths there. And here is David Wallbank, who has never ever qualified outside of the front row at all this season, and we've gone all the way from Australia to Spain, and that's five rounds. The only race he didn't get pole position was last time out in Spain, and that was only by less than a tenth of a second. And he's always oh, messed that up there, and like his teammate, goes slightly off the track there. This might be an invalidated lap, and uh, yeah, he's, he's gone in the pits there. Let's try and locate somebody else. Oh, Steven, how's he getting on? He's less, or oh, half a tenth off his personal best there in the first sector here. Very tricky corner to get right is the hairpin, but he's done so uh, okay. And he's coming up into the tunnel shortly. Not Who's quite this? getting close to the wall. Oh, Steven. Oh, Steven. Oh, yeah, there he is. 500 cent this time. At the minute. Yeah, I just had to change something on Facebook for me, Dad. Oh, That's why okay. I was. Oh, yeah, he he got the off, by the way. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, um, Piegri actually left the session, so um, if someone oh, can give him another invite, that would be good, because he crashed out, I think, so that's why he's gone. And, I don't know. Ma Mads and Dumbbells, do they have similar fits? Or well, Stephen, uh, they had a similar fit there with uh, Raskas. <laughs> yeah, uh, Mads crashed at the swimming pool section, and Dumbbells, oh, I have no idea room. what happened to Peggy him. Remix is going well. 12-1 goes fourth. Yeah, good lap from On him there. On Ultrasofts as well, nice lap. Mm -hmm. Um, some yeah. of the comments coming through. Na 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 hey 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 goodbye. Rip ZZ from Unseen. Anyone able to tell me what's happening with Striker Gamer? On Saturday. Striker. Yes, so Striker, he will receive a race ban from the footage that I've seen. Um, so uh, that is the steward's outcome on that. Mm -hmm. But back to yeah, F3. I'm yeah, I was just having a look on social media. And Wicked Goomba. Yep, and Wicked Goomba as well, doing a great job there to go PA on the Ultras. Oh, oh. Yellow flag sector one, I think that's just um Van Dungen, I think, getting out of the way, yeah. Yeah, no, he's just coming out of the pits. There's now a yellow flag in sector three on the walls. I can't see right. who it was. Right. Billy's on a lap. He's just started. This will be interesting. Yeah, he to did do. have a twelve five invalidant lap there. And a 12.5 would have put him into 5th ahead of Glocky. He is on the Hypersoft tyres. Oh, he's cut the wall on the inside there. Just yeah. forced him a little bit wide. Has he got white side end plate damage? I think he has. Half a just. second down, yeah. Yeah, he has. He's got white side end plate damage. He's lost half of his end plate. The left side of his end plate is gone. Oh, dear. Yeah, he's not going to improve here. So and his I ERS. Feel... Look at his ERS. Yeah, I'll switch to Hidu Pal, who's just about to complete a lap here. He's in 16th, so he needs to set a lap here. This and is going to be around Wicked Gumber, I think. It will be... Invalidate lap. Oh. 30, uh, it was a 13.8, though, so I would have put him right behind Wicked Gumber. David Wallbank, six, David Wallbank 6.8 seconds up. No, surely that must be, that, that yes, must be wrong. He must yes, have he cut is, a corner. He's coming, he's coming through Raskas now. No, he hasn't cut the corner. He's just oh, he's 10 .9. Oh, that, yeah. He? oh, I yeah. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, Wolfgang's sorry. gonna go Paul. Oh, it's an invalidated lap, but it's an 11.2. It's an invalidated lap. Is he gonna go again? Well, then he's getting out of his way. That's uh, Billy, I think, getting out of his way. Kel. He's just like, hang on. He's just gonna yeah. head there. Somebody's just gonna head of. 
Oh, was it Glocky going up to fifth? No. Glocky? Somebody's just jumped David Wallbank. I don't know who it was. It was Ke I thought it was Kel. Hmm. Oh, the Force India's stuck on the inside of the hairpin. Who's that? Is that Billy? It was Billy. Yeah, it must be Billy. <laughs> Oh, Van Dungan's just gone quicker, by the way, in 11 flat. Hit it, Pat, wow. just come up the second. He did have Slipstream, though, off a Mercedes, who I think was, oh, Stephen. Um, yeah. Where's that's our 27 that I just saw cut in the corner there. FIFA gamer down in 17th. And he hasn't done Surely, that. yeah. He he must... Spider. Yeah. David Wallbank and across the line. Second. That's an improvement, 12. Yeah. 11.3 goals second, not as quick as his 11.2 though. And he did something that's involved in the lap. And El FIFA Gamer is coming through towards Raskas, the end of the middle sector. And this is Raskas, he's approaching now. Looking very oh, nice. He's Ooh, managed to tap the wall on the left hand side. I think he's got no left end plate. Yes, he's aborted the lap there. Yeah, it was 15.1 yeah. anyways. That would have just put him ahead of all Stephen. There's the yellow flag in sector two. Somebody o has crashed. Yep, O Stevens up by over a second. Oh, David Wallbank. David Wallbank is the one that has uh, crashed. That's the middle. He's just letting everyone through at the end of the middle sector. Right. At the end of the first sector, sorry. Just before that happened. Is that Toxie moving up a place? Uh, it might be. Toxie yeah. has gone up the 13th. More yellow Not flags. Not too bad, yellow flags. <laughs> sector 2, Sector 3. This is going to be the uh, order of the day, really. Yellow yeah. flags, Sector 1 and Sector 2. Uh, yeah. Picky really Ooh, looks coming Kyomi. in. Oh, Kyomi! Oh, my gosh. Been... Oh, that was oh, so he's close. pushing the limits. He's pushing the limits as the yellow flags in Sector 2 and Sector 3 again. That might be for front wing damage, if I've got to be honest. But Kyomi yeah. is on a good lap here. Kyomi's going to go close to Van Dungan, I think. 11.4 oh. just goes behind Dev Wolfgang oh. and NLC for gamers out of the session and Kel's got a five yeah. first grip penalty for crossing into him. Oh oh. Oh that's that um Ra Raskas just before Raskas. FIFA gamers. I see his uh, Ferrari Kel there. Was in, Kel was on a lap, I think. As well. Might right. need some video footage into that, I think. So I yeah. certainly didn't see what happened. So the guy who is second in the championship, two points behind Van Dungen, will be starting in at least 17th place. 17th. He could be he's he could be no worse than 18th. Yeah. But he could be no better than 17th. So it's either what he's either same where he is, or he will uh, drop down a place. The block guard retires from the session. Yellow flag sector one, sector two. I think that's. Uh, down in the escape road. Yeah, I'm gonna send Tell's a message. Looking to... quicker, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna send a message to Piegri, uh to tell him to join back because there's five minutes left. And Kyomi goes. Kyomi goes quickest, and Kel's just made a mistake. What a lap! A ten point That's three. That's quicker than what was in uh, practice. Yeah. Kel is coming across the line now. He puts it up to 13th. He did get a bit of foot wing damage at the uh, exit of Raskas. Um, or just before the entrance into Raskas, actually. Um, so Kel will improve a couple of tenths on his lap. He probably will be ahead of <clears throat> will be ahead of Gumba and Billy, I would think, right. if he uh, goes from the lap and comes in bits. Right, I'm going to quickly... Right, okay, I've sent the message. 
in a second. There we go. Right, we're back. We're back. We're back. The uh, chicane, somebody's just off there. That was a Red Bull. I think that might have been um, Hidipo on his Atlap. I'm Dungan. As Glocky improves, I think, there. No, Glocky doesn't improve. Somebody's just improved. Just jump way up the field. Uh, Fakey remix on Ultras. Fakey. 12 1, Van Dungan coming across the line. Oh, it no. is an improvement. It's a 10 8. He improves by over a tenth and a half. Um, oh, and he nearly ended up in the wall and out the session there. <laughs> Oh my goodness me, right, three minutes and 30 seconds to go. The yellow flag in sector one, I think I was just Van Dungen getting out of the way of Hidipau. Fakey Remix is coming through the final corner now, he is improving. 12 flat on Not two bad. lap old, well, three lap old ultras. That is actually pretty good going on yeah. Fakey Remix because if Rory gets out of the way, that's Toxie. Yeah, getting out of the on... way. If you put on the hypers, he'd go at least a second quicker, and uh, that could put him up into P3. I know P3. who it was he jumped. Yeah, I know who it was he massively jumped up the field. It was David Warbanks at the session. Uh -oh. I fear he might have crashed. Right, that will be sector three then, somewhere. And I've got a lovely glitch. Oh, Brilliant. the spinner! There is somebody who spun. Is that that a is Tauber? Van Dungen. He's lost his front wing. Oh dear. Oh. oh, and he's out. He's out. <laughs> yeah, that oh. white that white tyre in that little clearing. The marshals will be able to recover that, of course. There is a funny looking guy on the left hand side of the track wearing a hat. <laughs> in the green vet in the green uh, high vis jacket there. He oh, looks a bit dear. suspicious, maybe trying to poison the racers here tonight. Poison. Hopefully oh, we don't okay. have another soldier in our hands. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, anyway. Um, Yellow flag sector two. That is in the tunnel section. Right, I'm watching Hidu Power now. That is Ash, I think. And Toxie's oh, left. Toxie. Right, hopefully he can join back. There's a minute and 50 left, so if someone in the session uh, who's retired or not on a lap can uh, send him an invite in case he can't join back. Yeah, but of course, Recog Kayomi is leaving it rather late in the session, but he's just coming out the pits now. 1 minute and 40 to go. He should get one lap in with about a buffer of 20 to 30 seconds. Oh, there's with. traffic. There's traffic for Hidu Pal. And he's got to get. Oh, he's backed off. Oh, yeah. He's. Oh, dear. All right. He's pulled He's going to retire. Yeah, that's such a shame as well. He was 27,000 oh, no, soft in, in the, the second yeah, sector. Yeah, he's putting it in reverse, so I think he might be... thinking, unless he gets disqualified from the session. Is he going back in the pit? He is! What's he doing? <laughs> right, oh, Steven's What is he retired. doing? Ash is... Ash Ooh. is a tenth up in the first sector. Yeah. He did get slipstream from the Williams there of Davey. And he's got a force India in front of him, which I think might be Billy. Possibly, yeah. or Kel, one of the two Force Indias. It is Kel, right. not Billy. It would and have been, been a bit released. suspicious if it was Billy, if I've got to be honest, <laughs> because these two were probably oh, in the Oh, where's he gone? He just cut the chicane. Yes, he did. I've, I've seen him do that more than once on this occasion, so might have to give him a penalty, I would yeah. say. The only t well, the only time in real Ooh. life I can think of someone doing Rocky's that. Rocky's gone second. Uh, oh yes, he has, and he's on another lap as well, and he's fifty thousand. Ash is going quicker slower. than Kaiomi here. No, oh, it's a ten one. Oh well. Yeah, and he's hit the wall as well for good measure. So Glocky, and he's backed off. And Hidu Power has retired. Kel as Ash well. Can improve, Davey is so off the pace oh. on, that, on that lap. F1. Ash is pushing it. He's two tenths up in the first sector, though. He's nearly two and a half tenths up in the first sector, reporting the hairpin. Right, F1 Spider is also he a tenth up. He is pushing this. This is most aggressive qualifying that I've seen all season from Ash. Billy's about to cross the line here through the final corner and he's across improving. He's improving, this is going to be a 12. Line. Yeah, 8. 12 through, goes 8. Not bad at all. Oh, Ash is in the wall! Oh, at dear. The chicken. He pushed too much there. 
push too much, I think. That's a weird place to crash as well, I may add. F1 Spider's coming across the line, I don't think he's improving. Oh, he improves by about a tenth in the end, 12-5. Uh, and place, jumps sir. up, I think, a position up to tenth. And that is qualifying over. I shall check the comments. And I shall run through the order as well. And everyone readies up. We have lost two drivers, Pierre Gris and uh, Toxie at this race. They won't be able to join back there Oh, Toxie's in, Toxie's in. Toxie just joined. To Toxie's in, his car will be off the grid though. Oh, that's a big shame. Kayumi Little sets the pace here in Monaco from Glocky in second, Van Dungen in third, Wolbank in fourth. And then Hidey Power in fifth, round off the top five. Ash in sixth, Fakey Remix seventh, Billy in eighth, Davey in ninth, and F1 Spider in tenth. Jake, Wicked Gumba, or Stephen, Kell, and Toxie, top 15, even though his name's disappeared. Brockard, Piegri, NL FIFA Gamer, Mads, and Dumlios. And remember, Kell's got that five place grip penalty for hitting into, I think it was, um, who was it? It was NL. Was it NL FIFA Gamer? Uh, I think so. It was oh. somebody. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Toxy and Pierre will be glad they're not racing, to be honest, because this is going to be hell on earth here tonight in Monaco. <laughs> it is going oh. to be hell on earth. My goodness. Where is thy season nowadays? <laughs> well then, predictions top three. I, I, oh yeah, I didn't even make a prediction in qualifying, so... Uh, B, uh, BBC I think mine was completely wrong, so... Oh, he, somebody's on about BBC I play in the back row. Um, <laughs> anyways. I will just confirm it's in it's intermediate conditions. Piegri and Toxie are missing from the grid. So both of those okay. guys are missing from the grid. Uh everyone is on the um enters. And I'm gonna make a prediction. Van Dungen is gonna win. Fakey oh. Remix is gonna be second. <laughs> and let's go F1 Spider third. Oh, okay. I will go for uh I'll go Glocky for the win. I'll go Hidu Power for second. And FIFA Gamer from 17th is going to have an absolutely awesome race up into third place. That's my crazy prediction. I, Third place for him. I think the opposite. I think NL FIFA Gamer will be out at turn one. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. I don't think he's suited for these conditions. Ma if if yeah. I'm going to pick out any drivers that could pick up the scraps from this race, Brockard and Mads are my two to watch in this race. Okay, yeah, Brockhart's consistent, yeah. I think Brockhart was kind of wet yeah. last season. There was a wet yeah. race last season and Brockhart was pretty good. And he did finish top five, I think, if I recall. I right. could be making it up. I th yeah, I can't... <coughs> oh, I can I can double check for you, actually. Uh, Canada... Rest that again. Canada... Bro I can't... No, Brockhart didn't finish in the top ten. It was so remember, Davey. viewers, we are missing um, 16th and 17th on the grid. Yep, Davey had a good start. race. Sorry, not 16th and 17th on the grid. Um, somewhere. Anyways, we're about to start here in Monaco. Hell on Earth is about to begin. Here we go. And it's lights out and away we go. What an unbelievable camera angle that is. <laughs> that is fantastic. Kayomi <laughs> jumps the one. start and goes into the lead of the race. Glocky's got ahead into second. Van Dungen, everyone I think has kept it clean. They have. Everyone has yeah. kept it clean. Oh, David, David Wallbanks just hit, hit the pal. Oh, oh no. Shut up, shut up. There's a roadblock. <laughs> There's a roadblock. Oh my god, look at the front wing damage at Casino Square. Jesus. Not the greatest yeah. start. Oh, Steven's struggling as well. 
It was all going yeah, so well. Struggling. It was all going so well. Everyone got through turn one. I was thinking maybe we might have a good race. <laughs> Kel has got a five second stop go for ignoring the yellow flag. Out front, Kayomi has got the lead. Glocky in second, but in the wall. Kayomi, I think he might have just touched the back and the oh, hitbox box of, of Kayomi. And he could have made the corner there. Yeah. Rocky could have made the corner. And Jake's out. What's happened to Jake? That's in the tunnel. Oh, there he is on the left hand side of the screen. Oh dear, yeah. Right hand That's side of the screen, sorry, but he's on the left hand side of the track. Mads and Brockard, my two predictions coming through the field, they've had an absolute awful, awful start. Yep, Davey's lost his front wing as well. Topic. Davey has damage. And he do power as well. I think nearly half the field, or more than half the field, have damage. Yep. Billy hasn't. Billy's going to be continuing on and up to fifth he goes. Ash, um, Pow. Look at all of these people coming in the pits. Oh, Stephen <laughs> is the only one not, I think. And F1 Spider, there's them two. As Wicked Gumbas crash coming in the pits, I think. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Oh, I think he's crashed coming in the pits. So we're two outs at the end of lap one. And Kayumi leads by 2.3 seconds. Well, Michelle Van Dungen in second, Wallbank in third, Fakey Remix fourth, Billy now in fifth after the pit stops. Um, oh, Stephen sixth, NL FIFA oh, Gamer seventh, and the fourth Cindy Roth, that's Kel. Kel spun. Yep, Kel has spun. He's, he's lost, I think, he's went in. And he shouldn't have really done that. Oh, he's letting people through. Oh, oh. No, he's not, his AI is. Oh, he's stuck. out. He's retired. Oh. He's retired. Okay, I didn't spot that there. Uh, that's why I said he shouldn't have done that. Ah, uh, okay. Alright, that makes sense then. Mads has made up ground. NLP for Gamer from 17 from the grade is up to 8. As old Stephen now comes under pressure from both F1 Spider and NLP for Gamer. Closes back on track at the minute. Mercedes against Haas. With the Ferrari lurking in the background. Dumlios in the background as well. Billy picking up a 3 second time penalty. I have a feeling he might get his NL FIFA gamer. <laughs> Getting very Larry with the back steer, the overseer there in the Ferraris, trying to go for a move, but you simply cannot make a move done. I've got to say, intermediate oh, conditions, as old Steven and F1 Spider are into the pit, old Steven's got left side end plate damage, F1 Spider has also got left side end plate damage. So I think they might have had, uh, I don't think they've had a collision on the way round, they've simply hit the wall. Toxie has joined, right. but he suddenly can't rest. Yeah. So that battle has now gone uh, pear shapes. It has indeed. We've seen the one's about to come out within about a second of each other as well. Yeah. Brockard is coming through Rascas. Closest battle um, is uh, Hidu Power and Ash. Hidu Pau. At the Ash moment. is using the walls, is he? Ash was using the wall up in Casino Square. There's the yellow flag in Sector 3. Dare I say it is that wall bank? No, it's not. Who is that? <laughs> Who is that? But it's clear that now, so yeah. Might be debris. I'd... Oh, the... yes. More yellow flags there. There's, there's more yellow flag in sector three. Oh, I know why. It's probably because of the front wing from um. What's his face? His car, Kel. Oh, right. I think okay. it's for Kel. Somebody at the wall at Ras just before the entrance of Raskas. Who do power? Wallbank right on the back of Van Dungan. Wallbank, yeah. <clears throat> sun is breaking through, by the way. The sun is glinting off the reflection. There is blue skies now starting to appear. I think. Oh, Hitty Pow's lost it. Oh, oh it's a good trip. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Good piece of driving there from Hitty Pow, the Dutchman. Me um, yeah. <laughs> That was unbelievable. That was strange, but that was unbelievable. He's <laughs> actually right on board with him there as well. Oh, oh, he's hit the wall. That is not unbelievable. He's hit the left side of the wall. Oh, Stephen, I think, has made a mistake. Uh, oh, no, yeah, F1 Spider's spider got the really overtake. F1 Spider passes him. Yeah. Quite Billy, spread out this penalty. field. Yeah. Yeah, Billy, Billy's got to be careful. He did get 18 seconds worth of penalties in the TFL B League race from Varen. Oh, um, can say that. Um, plus back on track as Hiddy Power has now lost ground to Ash is Wallbank and Van Duggan. This is for second place oh, on track. Billy's, Van Duggan's Billy's made a mistake. Billy's off. He's, He's hit the, the wall. wall. Where's Van Ash? At is the chicane. Um... He clipped the wall at the chicane. 
the entry part. Oh, dear. I caught that. Is that going to warrant a safety car? No, there's green flags. Ah. Oh. Somebody else cuts the, th cuts the corner as well. Three second time penalty for him. And what? Yeah, but also Warbanks in second now, so. There's been yeah, a Van change Dungen up front. Wall. You can see, I think he might have left side end plate damage running up the hill. Just watch. Yes, he does. Left side end plate damage just about. I think it might be yellow or orange damage for him. Right. Possibly. Oh, Wallbanks just lost a bit of his front wing. Uh oh. Very faint, but David Wallbank just clipped the wall there, and I think that might be his left side end plate as well. Gone a little bit. Let's just ride on ball with him. I want to catch this. Yeah, um, Michelle Van Dungen, I think it's actually green front wing damage from him. He has lost an end plate on that left hand side. There's mm -hmm. a bit of that missing. Uh, and Van Dungen. Um, Van Dungen and Wallbank. I want to see coming into this corner. Yeah, left side end plate. Likewise. I think right. he's actually damaged the car more. The Van Dungen, who got, who just made a little bit of a mistake there. Yeah, but out up Back front. Hit it, power's getting closer. Yep, Karimi is Ooh. has got this race all under control currently speaking. It's me. But I don't want to jinx anything there for. Hit it, power's just driving. really went in the back of Ash at the hairpin. Yep, this is getting very close now between the two of them. Somebody else catching NL FIFA Gamer as well, who is in fifth, but he's got a 21 and a half second gap. Yep, he's doing better Between than you predicted. Him. Out at turn one. He is doing. <laughs> he, at least he's made it uh, six laps. Well, not lap seven. Well, this yeah. is lap six. He's heading on to now. We're really on the wall at last cast. Somebody else getting a little bit uh, oversteering in the background. Mads is up to seventh, I did say. He was one of the ones to watch, oh! And at that point, he wasn't one of the ones to watch, because he just <laughs> took the wall. Uh, uh, no damage, luckily, on his right side end plate. There. Teddy Power is catching Ash, he's in the slipstream. Of course, no DRS in the intermediate conditions. Is Teddy Power going to try and force a move on Ash at Casino Square? Quite possibly, he could go up the inside and launch one, and try and not clip oh. Ash in the wall, he's hit the back of him! He's hit the back of him. I don't think he's got any front wing damage, has he? Uh, I Unless can't see from off, that camera angle. He's gone off underneath Asher's car. He's just had breaking himself. He needs to learn not to how to break himself here. Oh. I think Warbank has just made a mistake. Yeah. Warbank's just been overtaken by Van Dungen. There's another change. So and, they've swapped yeah. positions again, essentially. And this is costing them time to carry me. Look at the gap, 7.5 seconds now. Seven and a half seconds, but the nature of Monaco, anything can happen. And I think that rain is beginning to get a bit heavier out on track. Right. Looking at it, the sun is gone. The sun is completely gone. I'm going to run ball with Kyomi just to double check. The sun has completely receded. It's not obviously going to be affecting them down the the hairpin, run the hairpin because of the cover of the buildings. Now into oh. the tunnel section. Kayomi just catching the curb a little bit. Catching a little bit of spray. I think oh. they've walked back and made a little mistake out on track. Yeah, Mads as well hit the wall, so um and he let through Glocky, interestingly enough. Even though they're not teammates. Oh, I missed that. So that was a change of position there. Uh, Van Dungen yeah. is beginning to hunt down Kayomi. A gap has, in, has decreased by five tenths. Or was right. it five tenths? Seven, or was it seven seconds? <sighs> it's just made a little mistake. Yeah, I'm Getting just watching Hidu there. Power now. To see if he's yeah, going he hasn't to he hasn't be brave. broken himself with a hairpin there like he did last time. Right. Which is and good to see. Fastest lap there. 124.9. From Kyle. Who else? NL FIFA Gamer is struggling in these conditions, and now he is beginning to hold up a little bit of a group in behind. Dumlios is the nearest car to him, but Glocky in turn is catching Dumlios, and Mads with that front wing damage is Dumlios just gets a little bit uh, Larry out of the chicane there. Um, at the minute, 
This could be a battle, a three-way battle, or maybe even a four-way battle. Four. Yellow flag. Oh, oh what about so? Yeah, Where's he, he done that? That's um, oh, it's a It's just before the hairpin. It's oh my god. That's that Mirabo, yeah. What a weird place to crash. What wheel has he lost? Has he lost his right wheel? Has he clipped the right side of the wall? That's probably what's and happened. Enough for gamer. Let's ride and ball with him. Green flags now in that section. Oh. He's an old FIFA gamer. He has. Yeah. So wall bank out. Oh, His and there is a train. Him down with his driving. Yep, there's a train starting to form here with FIFA gamer. Uh, <laughs> Doom lost behind Glocky as well. Yeah, starting to was, catch. Yeah, as I was alluding to. Um, Dumnios is closest. Glocky is catching Dumnios, as you can tell. He got a horrible run going through the tunnel. And Dumnios is now under pressure from Glocky. He forces the move possibly oh, on the inside. Can he get no. the car stop? No, he can't. And Dumnios is forced to cut the corner. He keeps the position, Glocky. He shouldn't have tried that. But. Yeah. He, yeah, he, j he actually lost the car under braking. And he caught the curb on the left-hand side, I think, of track. Right. I, th I think that should be a racing incident. It, uh, he did dive it, and it is a bit rash, but it should be a racing incident because he lost the control of the car. Yep, and he's the one who lost out most of all in that incident. So, yeah, Dominic was was five tenths as well. I think I I've got to argue the point there. Actually, I think Dominic has actually lost time, but I think it's because of mistakes that he's making by himself. And getting not great runs out the corner. You can see up in the mountains on the left hand side there. As I ride on board with him. Absolutely horrible, horrible conditions. Yeah. And this rain is just circulating the Monaco Street Circuit here. Round six of the FRL Championship. Glocky is catching Dumnios. Which is good to see, but Dumnios in turn is catching NLP for Gamer, because NLP for Gamer is now starting to struggle. On those inters. Yep, he is indeed. Anyone brave enough or close enough? Nope. Not yet. Glocky, I thought he was going to try it again there. He's been through the corner this time, which is good to see, but there is a three car train now starting to form, as he did allude to uh, just a couple of minutes ago. NLP for Gamer defending off Dumnios, who in turn is defending off Glocky. Mad, I would say, is out of this, even though he's 2.93 seconds behind. And he could be vulnerable to Ash pretty soon. Yeah, definitely. Uh, oh, F1 Spider's got a penalty. Ooh, Domlios! Oh, yeah. That's Has his. just nearly lost it in the wall. He had to avoid the wall. And that's going to let Glocky through up the inside, up to P5. That was a mistake on Domlios's part. Nothing could have been done about that. Just outran himself at the corner. Glocky got the run. And it's as simple as that. Make a mistake round here and it's deadly. Yeah. And he's very close to FIFA Gamer as well, so it could be a double overtake here in the space or in the span of a That's lap. The if he can yeah. nail it. But NL FIFA Gamer, I like what he's doing there. He's just backing oh, up the leaders in. in. Kaiomi's in. From wing change. From wing change. Did he make a mistake and hit the wall? Is that what he happened? Has. You see, yep. Very right. strange, he's out the pits now. Van Dungen continuing. So Kaiomi has made a mistake somewhere out on track. I think he might just get out behind Fakey Remix. He was carrying the overspeed. He's got to go past him any flag. second now. Ash. There's a yellow flag. In Ash is off. With Ash. At the chicane, that's the same. the same place as yeah, The exact. <laughs> <laughs> the same mistake has been made. And in fact, oh, I think his dear. car is parked in the same place as well. Yeah. He's hit that inside wall. That's yep, what happened there. Wheel completely gone. We are down to 12. So these guys who were just trudging around at the back could be getting themselves in for points here, possibly. And Kaiomi did come out as Glocky is making a move on now. FIFA Gamer for fourth down the inside. Similar to what we saw with Dominios just a lap ago. And now FIFA Gamer will keep around the outside. Just lost it a little bit. <laughs> and now FIFA Gamer wow. simply had the drive off the corner. And gets past Glocky, who was ahead of him. Glocky had the move pretty much completed, three quarters completed. 
And Glocky, is he going around the outside of my ball? No, he's not. No. On the inside of the, chica of the uh, hairpin here, but this will be absolutely yeah, he's horrible. Covered it. Again, I like the tactic NLP for Gamer is using there. He's just backing everyone up into the hairpin and trying to get a little bit of front wing damage off the cars behind, <laughs> which is going to force them to pit, and that will free up NLP for Gamer as Glocky is he's right close. on the back of him. Is he going to go around the outside of the chicken? Surely not. No, he slots back in. No. Yeah. Didn't complete it. The, if he wants to make a move anywhere out on track, it's turn one, which is simply the only overtaking spot, <laughs> I think, on this track. The only sensible overtaking uh, place. Maybe sure. into Raskas if he's close enough? He's not this lap. <laughs> he's not this lap. He oh, might be. FIFA Gamer Ooh, set the wall. Well, FIFA Gamer makes Here mistakes. we go. He's Around the, the final, final corner. corner. Oh. Ooh. And Domlios! Domlios is going to take full advantage of this! Domlios and our FIFA Gamer! Fourth overtake! Domlios, it was Glocky! Looking for a double oh, move FIFA in the car! FIFA Gamer's on the wall! Oh, that was <laughs> horrible! Oh dear, he's lost I his know, front wing! Just... Yeah, and Kaiomi's got past Fakey Remix in the, back, in the foreground as well. Kaiomi now second, and he's within. Okay then. So Dominos gets past for fourth, and in the same, and in the space of a couple of seconds, Kaiomi gets past uh, Becky Remix. This for sec that was for second night on track. Michelle Van Dungen, of course, has still got the pit. Matt has picked up a three-second time penalty. Look at the train <laughs> forming. Dominos oh, and Glocky are now clear of NL FIFA game. And look at the front wing damage he's got. He's got a truck round. Halfway around this track he is. He's still got half of the track still to go. Mads was trying to go from oh, the, the inside. And I think Gamer simply hits the wall. Watch out because I think we could have another crash in our hands here. Yep. No, he avoids the inside wall. That's good to see. He's good. But he has lost his left, oh. end, left end play completely. Uh, yeah, not even the left end play. He's lost his left side of his front wing. Mads is being sensible here. He knows FIFA Gamer's got a pit. Now we can go for a move. I think Mads can go for a move here at Raskas. Try and force up the inside. Well, a snail's pace going through there. That was super slow. He hits the... Uh, and and Hidipow, I think, got from wing damage off that. Hidipow's in the pits. Right. He has. He's got from wing damage, as I thought. Yeah, a little bit of from wing damage did come off. I was saying Kaiomi did get past Fakey Remix and all that as well. But he's still on the back of Dumlios. Okay, right. Battle for fourth. And these guys have still got a pit, of course. Um, how many laps do you think the Inters are actually going to make? Should they're going to make halfway? Quite comfortably. Yeah, halfway, then pit, and do the second stint on the same distance should be should be good enough unless it stops raining or gets heavier uh, i'm gonna check the comments for that anyways see if there's anything happening glocky's hit the fence oh my god he's <laughs> got that car stuff somehow oh he got caught on the right hand side the sun is back out by the way glinting off through the trees yeah and glinting off the uh, halo of glocky's car dominios just make a little bit of a mistake glocky's just got to be careful because dominios nearly in the wall in the foreground oh goodness he's taking us this is oh great stuff there let's have a look uh hidu pals very close to the back of uh fifa gamer and a couple of predictions yeah. from earlier on Dumbly uh, glocky's right on the back of dominios not going to get it done. Hey, he is! Glocky's past him! Surely not. Dumbledore's oh. made a mistake! Wow! Glocky, ooh! Yeah, Dumbledore simply made a mistake on the inside there. Caught the wall. Pretty much got caught in it. And Dumbledore's oh. nearly in the wall. I think he might have suffered a bit from wing damage on the left side end plate. What's happened to old Steven? He's dropped down. To 11th there. He hasn't got front wing damage, so I think he might have. I think he hit it power right on the back of NLF for Gamer. Oh, goodness me. Cut in the corner a bit there, NLF for Gamer. Right on the back now, hit it power. This is for ninth place out on track. Both of these have been in the pits already. And um, they did pit on the same lap, remember, as Hidipow yeah. did suffer that front wing damage from 
NLP for Gamer and the Constantino effect with uh, Mad, I think it was, the other driver involved in that. As I'm just going to look through some of the comments. Um, Billy first, F1 Sparta second, Glocky third. At the minute, that is absolutely miles off. <laughs> Billy's, Billy is already out. F1 Sparta is down in eighth and struggling. And Glocky's in fourth, now ahead of Dumnios. Yeah. Oh, look how close Hidu powers to the back of NL FIFA Gamer. Should be a move, but he's cautious into the chicane. And he doesn't want to yeah, get it do done he there. He doesn't want to go for a move there because remember, the front wing damage is there on the left side of the uh, chicane. On the right side of the chicane. So if he runs oh, over yeah. that, he could be running risk of getting the puncture Ooh. from the stricken uh, Freddy's and Ash's cars. Uh, and Hidu Pow is obviously not close enough because he's just made a mistake. Yeah, he hit the wall there, but he hit it square on. So he didn't get any damage, luckily for him. Am I on target for my position? F F3 in rain equals two finishes. Um, not at the minute. Oh, Steven's in the pit. Um, it stopped raining, I think. And you know what? Oh, Steven's on the dry tyre. For some reason. Unless that's a glitch on my thingy. That's not a glitch. He is on... Ultras on my end. This is a very, very the rain stopped. drastic I've call. I've totally messed this up. The rain has stopped, I think, out on track. There was just little spits and spots. Let's have a look at the vibes oh. of an LP for Gamer. Yeah, I'm watching O'Steven here to see how he's getting on on those dry tyres. It's still too wet. Look at the how difficult it is. There is to a dry get line forming down. up Casino Square, though. Up towards Casino Square, there is a dry line forming. I'm fearing that maybe, he might crash. Maybe the mechanics have had the wrong tyre. He set the wrong tyre. Possibly. I don't know. I think old Stephen would have been better going on the, the uh, less wearing of the tyres. Yeah. If I've got to be honest. Oh, and he's crashed. And he's... Oh, no. He saved it. No, he hasn't. Oh, yes, he has. Yes, he has. Good control. It's all about control on the dry tyres in the wet conditions. I'm not sure if anybody's dared him to do this. This, <laughs> this is too wet though. This is, yeah, it this is, is too not, wet. Nobody is else call. has fallen them in, which is interesting. I think it's sensible not to, not to uh, do what he's doing. I've got to say, Kaiomi pitted five laps ago. He's he's done six laps on those inters. He's only caught what three seconds. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, oh, oh Steven. All over the place. F1, oh. F1 Sparta just let uh, Kaiomi through, by the way. Um, Van Dungen through, by the way. So, so Van Dungen has essentially left everyone bar the top seven. Yeah. From second down to seventh, he's basically not that them. Oh, I know Steven's holding up to Milios. Oh, he's trying to get into the pits. Prediction. He's in the pits and he's gone back to the Inters. So that gamble wise definitely choice. didn't pay off. Very wise choice going back on the Inters. But then again, this rain stopping, surely it's going to dry up quick. Yeah. <sighs> well, I mean, if Host even went for the Ultras, he obviously knows that the weather's going to get better later on in the race. Yeah, I mean... I mean, just look at the amount of spray being kicked up. It's, it's even been kicked up from the behind the car. On the rear of the car. Yeah. It's that thingy. Kaiomi, though, is getting closer. He's just caught another second. He has got traffic ahead of him. And it is NLP oh, for Game and Hidipel. Hidipel. We are battling for position. He's going up the inside of turn one. Hidipel up the He's... inside of turn oh! one. He put, he put NLP for Game on the wall there. Yep, and there's Spider going through. Oh, I think. dearie me. Brockhardt's got to get in at this. Yep, Brockhardt there he is in the background. They're still locked together. Now they've unlocked. Oh, no. Oh, he's put him in the wall. Again, he puts him in the wall. I'm not sure if it's yep. car control or if this is on purpose. I don't know. I think it's more of the former. Oh, and he's put him and off. You, you saw that, didn't you? He, he went for the move and he, he's know, just driven straight game on. I think he's following uh, another gamer of Saturday. 
Yeah, I think NLV for Gamer, personally, I think he deserves a rest ban for that, because that was a purposeful takeout, if I've got to be honest. He was nowhere near. He was, yeah. about, he was about seven tenths off. He was nowhere near to make the move. He has clearly done that with intention. And he's paid the penalty, and he's paid the ultimate karma for it. But... Oh! He's hit the wall. powers off. Uh, hit the powers in the wall. Oh, but caught dear. caught on the inside, I think. Dear me. Yeah, although saying that, I mean, FIFA Gamer was pushed into the wall on the exit of turn he one he as well. He was pushed so. into the wall, but then again, I could argue that was a side pod glitch. It's fake. He remixes came in the pits. He has yeah. got a clear pit stop over Glocky, so he will be coming out in third. Right. What's it, what tyres is he going to go for? It's a front wing change as well for Fakey Remix. He's gone on the supers! What? <laughs> this isn't a bad call, actually. Are you sure? There's less spray and there's less spray coming through Raskas. But surely it's still Glocky's too wet. Glocky's coming in. Glocky's coming in. Hit power's in. They're all coming on the supers off. DRS will be enabled next lap. You watch. But it's too wet. It's not time Glocky. yet. Glocky. Is there a set of super softs out in the pits for him? Yes, there is. He's coming <laughs> on the supers. This is unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> oh, and he has to wait. Five second, he's serving a five second stop go as well, which is good. Surely that would be See? served before. Um, I think he's, I think he's disconnected. Just want to pull out there. I think he's disconnected. Either that or he's stuck in the pits. Well, we did see someone get stuck in Australia uh, before, so... Dave Wallbank is at the race, so this is a bit of a pit lane glitch, I think. It's either... I could put it into two things, connection or Wallbank crashing out earlier and creating a pit glitch. But hang, right. hang on. Oh no, Dominios is... yeah. Yeah, well, that's, that's fine. That's a big shame for uh, for Glocky, who's finished fourth in Baku and Spain. Oh my god! Prior to How this, how many cars has Van Dungen actually lapped? He's lapped everyone up to fourth. <laughs> oh, Van Dungen has lapped everyone up to fourth. Kayumi getting left through there, or Stephen? I think letting them through. Was or Stephen letting them through? It's a bit boring now. This race, it's got a bit. Uh, tedious, so I'm going to check you through your comments. Age isn't right. the reason. Check out Veloce Surprise. AOR Xbox One F1. He's 14, I think, and he's super, super quick. Who's left that comment? Unseen Nightmare. They're having a bit of a... Um... Unseen? Yeah, they're, they're, they're talking about... Uh, it's Bomb Planter and... Um, Unseen and Elixir, I think, getting on this as well. Glocky is still in the pits, which is such a shame. Yeah. He is now out the point. He's retired from the race. He's had enough. That's ridiculous. I mean, Code Masters, you, you still haven't patched it. I mean, uh -oh. come on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Overtake alert. Overtake alert. F1 Spider's closing in on Dumlios. Dumlios, of course, on the Supers. Oh, yeah. Of course. Inter Inters is still the tire to be on. Yeah. But F1 Sparta just only four dumbness on the wall there. F1 Sparta, look at the <laughs> look at the grip. Compared to the super softs, it's still wet out there. It's looking a bit more greasier out there, if I've got to be honest. DOS will be enabled very, very soon, I suspect. As soon as DOS is enabled, yeah. the, the yellow flag in Sector 2 hit, he powers crashed in the wall, and that's in the tunnel. Wow. Oh, and he's... Uh, he's on, and he's on Super Soft as well. Where's he? Oh, and he's purposely uh, crashing out there. Virtual safety car has been deployed as a result. VSE, VSE is deployed. Fakey Remix. This is perfect for Fakey Remix. Van Dungen's gonna get a free pit stop out of this. Kyomi's gonna get a free pit stop out of this. But what tyres do they go oh, on? Oh, he's stuck! They're going on he's super. stuck in the pit! Who is? Van Dungen! No, he's not. He's getting a full wing change. Oh. 
There we go. Oh my it's gosh. Three. Oh my gosh. That was the yeah. That was the visual glitch on my part. Kayomi, that was so weird. Kayomi stared. Kayomi stared out. Domlios has got another drive-through penalty. He's got two drive-through penalties for speeding on the federal safety car. Oh, and it's hard to see why because he's making mistakes <laughs> left, right, and centre. <laughs> Mad right on the back of Fakey Remix for third. Oh my gosh. Kaomi and Van Dungen, <laughs> essentially everyone up to fourth, have not been lapped. As we get racing on the way again, it's closed up all of a sudden because of the tide. Davey's gone on the Ultra Softs! What on earth is he doing? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, what a shame. I've got helicopter cam on Mad and Fakey Remix at the minute on my end. Vicky Remix getting caught by Mads. This is the third place. Mads yeah. has been 20 laps on those inters, but I think those drives might be coming to. Uh, they're getting a grip now in them. Yeah. Dry, it's getting drier. There's hardly any spread. DRS will be enabled pretty soon. Although, saying he hasn't that. Got the grip at the moment. He hasn't got the grip at the yeah. moment, but he has got more grip compared to, I would say, last lap. Yeah, but Way just oh, red. yeah. Just saying that because Van dungen has gone on to the dry tyres uh, under VSC there. Uh, unless, wait, is he on the supers, right? Or he's on the supers. Right. He's losing time. Kaiomi's gonna win this race. Yeah, because Kaiomi's going to do an overcut <laughs> on him, essentially, mm -hmm. and he's gonna get the position. So. <laughs> Although pitting under VSC might have been a wise choice F1 at the time. Oh, F1 might have jumped into the pits. He thinks it's time for drives, I think. Let's see what he goes on. I think that might be super out oh. in the uh, stop run. Fakey's had a half spin there. And Mads overtaking the tunnel. To... Oh my gosh. He's back down no, a bit there. Rockard's right in behind as well. Rockard's been lapped, obviously. Mads is just going to take a course. Right. He's going to try and force Fakey Remix into the mistake. But I feel Fakey Remix will make a mistake sooner rather than later. And again, you nearly saw Fakey Remix getting overtaken by Mad. This is the closest battle on track as Heli Power leaves the session. I have seen uh, drivers leave the session in other races and force a safety car. I don't think we're going to get one here as Domlios is in the pits. Not sure what tyres he's going on. He's gone on a set of oh, Ultras, which is the wrong call. Certainly the wrong call. Well, I've got to say it again. Oh my Jesus <laughs> Christ! Oh. That could have ended in absolute tears. Oh my goodness! Thank you. Dominic else was coming out the pits. Thank you, Remix was going down the inside of the line. That could have ended up in absolute tragedy. Rockards in. Got and out. He's gonna go on drive. Uh, Inters are still the tyre to be on. I don't know why people are not listening. Rockard, <laughs> by the way, is on another set of Inters, which is a good call. <laughs> yeah, for now, anyway. Foster's a good call for Rockard. As again, Mads. Mads, I think, needs to force a move to get past Vicky Remix and get clear. Because he's on the inters, he's on the quicker tyre essentially. He needs to get a move yeah. done. Oh, oh fake. and he will get a move done. Because <laughs> Fakey Remix spins on the inside of the corner. Dominios yeah. has caught up in that as well. And. Is that the race Mads leader? Is free. Yeah, race leader as well got through okay as well. Good to see. Well, and he's let him leader, through. Yeah. Mads has just let him through. So, Kaiomi and Van Dungen are the only two not to have been lapped in this race. <laughs> <laughs> oh this my is unbelievable. Goodness. DRS enabled. Kaiomi's just passed the pits. Oh, Kaiomi's no. just passed the pits. No. <laughs> I think he's still got enough, though. But I think he's still got enough to get round. Yeah. He will still have a bit of grip on those tyres. He has still got enough, I think, to win this race. He's 30 seconds clear of Van Dungen. That time will not go down much. I think it'll go down, what, two and a half seconds, possibly, by the end of this lap? Three yeah. seconds. What's Brockard do. doing? Brockard's staying out. Oh my gosh. What's he doing? <laughs> oh, Steven's in. As I said, Kaomi, 30 seconds ahead of Van Dungen. Well, I don't think Van Dungen's actually crossed the line yet. Oh, he has. 29.9 <laughs> now. 
Kaiomi's still got grip on those tyres. Kaiomi needs to pit this lap. Going for a set of ultras. Because he can make ultras go to the end quite comfortably. As he's going to have, what, 14 laps left? It's 30 seconds dead on the gap. 29.8. That gap is not even closing up by two and a half seconds. As I already said. That's not even closing up a couple of tenths. Yeah. I think we're at the point where the Inters are crossing over. It's the crossover period. And Kaomi is And Kaomi in. comes in. Sensible. Yeah, he's got this. Jeff must be going mental at these guys on the dry tyres. I've got to agree. <laughs> I'm going oh. mental at anybody that's still out on the right. Inters. Uh, Ka Kaomi <laughs> had to wait for Dominios to pass him. Another set of ultras. So I think lost. he did pit for the front wing damage. Van Dungen is only at Raskas. Kaiomi is a mile ahead. Kaiomi just needs to sit and wait. Yeah. Dumlios should let him through. Dumlios needs to let him through. I don't know why he hasn't let him through yet. He's ignoring yellow flags. And blue... He's ignoring blue flags, sorry. Blatantly. Dumlios needs to let him through, because if he doesn't, I think a penalty should be applied to the end of the race for him. Right. I think he's just trying to find a way, a place where to, uh, thing him. Oh, and he's lost him. And lost that's time. where he's going to overtake him. F1 Spider fastest lap there. Yellow flag in sector two, that was, uh... Dominios, he's just been overtaken by oh, Mads, but of course Mads what's is in on fourth. earth? Dominios! Um, We're down to it! <laughs> he, that was Two a purposeful more. crash. Two more! <laughs> Two more! That's all I beg! <laughs> Fake as well, that yeah. That's all I yeah. beg. The, yeah, the fastest of that uh, record here is going to be broken, tumbling down. <clears throat> There we go, Kaomi. We're, we're going to be mid 15s, I think, by the end of this. Yeah, not 14s, quite. 14s, possibly. Not quite the qualifying pace that we saw because of these cooler conditions and the fact and that they have more fuel. Just, yeah, there's Davey. the first 19. Oh, oh and Steven, this, this is for position. Go in the pits. This is for position, yeah. Oh, Steven's got Drop through. Brockhoff was trying to go in the pitch, but he made a mistake. Oh, Steven was trying to go up the inside, got the move done. Brockhoff just let him through there. And oh, Steven gets that move done. He's up to seventh. And he is scoring big points. Yeah. yeah. And I have to Even say, he's a minute yeah. behind the nearest car. Oh, Steven's been one of the most unluckiest drivers ever this season. But finally, he's up into a fantastic position. And I think this will be the first race I'll see the checkered flag. Well, saying that, we've still got 13 laps, including this one left. Yeah, well, I mean, if he's and made it that far, then surely he should. I may add, Kaiomi is five seconds up on his time. Uh, yeah, see it. Th this is going to be around a 16, I think. Possibly even a 15. Come on, Kaiomi, get to the line, get a 15. Yay, another <laughs> goal. There we go. Another prediction of mine coming well. And he gets oh. a three second time penalty, which is not going to affect him. Van Dungen is on the Super Softs, remember? And he is on War Knight Super Softs. Of course, he did have to do the first, I think, either lap or two laps on a greasy track. So that's why he's lost a little bit more right. time than expected. Oh, right. That's it's all a bit boring now. There's no battles. <laughs> it is, yeah. Unfortunately. Can we have a look at position changes, Gold Boy? I'm going to get this yes. graphic up. Mads is up 14. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, everyone uh, bar Kaiomi have gained positions. So everyone you see out on track bar Kaiomi is, have gained positions. Brockard's gained seven. Or Steven has gained, has gained six. Uh, Fakey Remix, Davy, and F1 Spider have gained four. And Van Dungen has only gained the one position in the Toro Rosso. But in vital because he's second, and is he gonna be still in the, is he gonna be retaking his championship lead tonight? Uh, I believe Van Dungen, Van Dungen led by two points going into this race, so he'll, mm. yeah, he'll still be in the lead. He'll uh, extend it then. 
Yeah, because FIFA Gamer, of course, crashed out. <coughs> and scoring points. Third, I think Brockard's still third, but I don't think it'll be third much longer. I think Kaomi will take his place <coughs> in that position. Yeah, and know FIFA Gamer did not score points, which is just as well, because I think he would have been disqualified from the results if this was TFOR. Um, yeah. After his purposeful, I'm judging it as a purposeful takeout. Because you, you can't come from 7 10th back and gain a position in the mirror ball. It's impossible. Yeah. I mean, the, the, your admins can and the stewards can make a judgment for themselves, but my opinion is he should be given a wristband based off that. Mm. We'll be interesting to see. We're on lap 29 of 39. Don't tune out because we've got driver interviews still to come. Um, but this is the part of the commentaries that I like because I can just go on a massive ramble about the drivers <laughs> in every single position. Kaiomi setting a 13.6 there. And he's actually hunting down Mads. This is for a lap gain for Kaiomi. And he is only, I would say, about four seconds off him. Uh, yes. Becky remix, they're at the hairpin, they're around the same point on track. Indeed. Yeah, Kaomi's about five seconds behind him at the minute. Hopefully we'll get a scene overtake for a lap position. And I want to make sure Fakey Rima can actually defend the position. So I mean, if he makes a mistake, he's in third. As you can see, Kaomi is catching in the background. He's on the ultra softs. So this track has warmed very, very quickly to the tyres, to the dry tyres. Um... And I'm just going to have a look at what's going on in the comp. Who's done the most pit stops? Most stops no. goes Ooh, to... Oh, Stephen and Brockard. Four yeah. stops each. That's Dunn custom. just did make two stops before he crashed out. I think that would have been a lot more if he was still going. Yeah. When the twin, when the twenty people watching are probably mostly F three drivers. <laughs> for for uh, for any grass, this is really hectic. Well, it's F three. Boy, it's boy from F3. Belgium, eighteen. Not sure who that is. It is Monaco. He looks like Jimmy Joe. Well, let's have a look at his picture. If you go on YouTube. <laughs> I'll look at this picture. I'll take you through uh, Fakey Remix getting caught by Kyobi and look how quick he's caught him. Yeah. My goodness me, he's only about a second off him. Fakey Remix, don't let through the don't let him go. You've got to fight for this. I want to see a battle out <laughs> on track. I don't care if you get a penalty, you'll get removed. <laughs> oh dear. I want to see some action. This is what the viewers have came here for. He's going to let him through on the straight, isn't he? Here, watch. No, he's listening. Come on, Fakey Remix. Go on, keep going. Keep going. Oh! No, he's fighting the position. Oh, he's in the wall. <laughs> oh! Yes, he lets him yeah. through. Good. Good good sportsmanship there, but good racing between both of them. And that's what we like to see. Fakey Remix taking a bit more of a speed. He's just trying to get back on the back of Kaomi. And sadly, Kaomi has now lapped. Ficky Remix, he will try his utmost to try and unlap himself. <laughs> it's the only bit of action I can say that is out on track at the minute. <laughs> Unless there's something else going on further down the field. Uh, not really, it's very spread out. I think. Um, yeah, Brockhard is improving on his lap. He is gaining on old Steven, but I mean, that gap is just too much. <laughs> he's got to make about five mis. He's, he's got about. He's got to make about three mistakes on the way around. Yeah. To even let Brockard get close. Yeah, and the reason why these guys are still in the race is because they have made the least amount of critical errors, and so it's very. It's gonna be. <laughs> oh, yellow flags. Oh, was that? Oh, yellow that was. Yellow flags. Uh... Three. 
Brock oh, that was somebody making them sick, I think, there. Brock Brock, was it? Brock, no, Brock Hart let through the leaders. He let through Fecky Remick as well. There we go. That's good to see. Yeah, he let through Kaiomi and he let through uh, Fecky Remix. Which is good to see. Currently, they are in third place. It's Dave, he's just got a lap on them. Uh, but in fact, Davey's been lapped by Michelle Van Lundem, I may add, to that. Brockhardt's now 30 right. seconds off after letting through everyone. Cuss battle on track, if you can call the battle, <laughs> is uh, Mads and Vicky remix. 12 seconds. <laughs> Mads is closing. Dummy Ultra, compared to Vicky remix on the Supers, he is closing. Yeah, but surely he can't. Nah, nah, that's not... Possible, Can someone take one for the team and get a safety car out on track? <laughs> well, I mean, half the field have already tried, <laughs> it seems, but uh, to no success. We only got a virtual safety car, but that's about it. Bomb Planter is wondering what team he's going to be in uh, for F3. I mean, personally, with that haircut, I think he'll probably get into the McLaren because it'll, it, his hair will match the car colour perfectly. <laughs> oh dear. Well, um... I th I think I think you said you'll get it for Christmas or something, so that will be next season. So I have no idea mm -hmm. uh, the roster for next season, so I can't really say what car you'll be in. I'm, I know it is Monaco, but for a league, it's before Illigress, not a league. Yeah, well, um, you expect that they will drive clean. As we've got a bit of action, because Van Dungen is catching Mads. Here we go. Another lap! <laughs> Another lap car, this will be Mads getting lapped for the second time out on track. I think. Oh, it? oh I go. let him through! You spoiled sport! <sighs> oh. And he's lost two seconds on Fakey Remix because of that as well. So literally everyone I think is going to be staying in the same positions unless something absolutely wild happens. <laughs> Uh, as Van Dungen... Van Dungen has lost a, a mass amount of time from the last time I looked. It was 19 seconds the last time I looked. It's now 24. Yeah. Which is quite interesting. Hmm. Last man standing challenge and said maybe. I've got WWE 2K15 on my uh, PS4 if you uh, do want to see a last man standing match. <laughs> <laughs> oh. ah. Yeah, everyone's just uh, going round. Oh, hang on. <clears throat> oh, uh, F1 Spider is getting away from more Steven. Yeah, he just passed him, I think, at the uh, the tunnel. Or... Ooh, all Steven's just made a mistake. He's losing those tyres, I think. Those are beginning to overheat. Nine laps gone, they're all beginning yeah. to overheat. Even though Davey's been 13 laps and Mads has been 10 laps on them. Mm. Essentially, this is all Stephen's 10th lap on those ultras. Nothing really much happening on track. I think you're going to be seeing the position stays there. Um, let's like change your job if you can't make F2. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> but he made B League on Saturday. And he finished second, we're in Bahrain, which I was very happy about. Uh, standings for any drivers that might be watching us, uh, might be watching this and are in TFOL. The standing should be up in the chats. Well, um, and if you haven't missed, if you haven't seen them, then I will uh, put them up on the Discord chat as well. Is it starting to rain again? That's what I, that's what I thought. Yes, it is! It is! Down to Mirable! Yes, it is! It's beginning to rain. It's not going to be enough, though. Oh. Surely not. I mean, Kaiomi's got three laps to go next up, next time around. He's approaching the start-finish line. Loretta knots. It's a minute and 15 a lap around here. As we've got a little bit of action. Or oh, Steven getting caught by Kaiomi. <laughs> This, uh, I think, is going to be his third lap, possibly. Yeah. Oh, I let him through. Come on. 
<laughs> you saw Ficky remix of having a fight and he didn't get a penalty. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, yeah, uh, right, okay. They've got to keep the concentration on these drivers, of course, on a more serious note. Uh, I can make TFO this weekend, happily. China is one of his better ones. Crash of the day instead of driver of the day. Well, Crash driver of the, of the day. day is going to go to Matt. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I mean, him or maybe even Kaomi from doing Kaomi, a T stop yeah. to winning, yeah. I think a, I think a shared driver. Um, oh! Thingy. Yellow flag, yellow oh. flag, yellow flag, yellow flag. Action! Who is it? It was somebody at Mirabal, and <laughs> Davy just came out of a wall there. Um, I think it was Mads. Oh. Uh, no, sorry, it was uh, Fakey Remix, sorry. It was Fakey Remix at Mirabal. He oh. just, I think, might have caught the wall on the inside. He's just lost um, about two seconds to Mads. Crash of the day? Who am I going to give Crash of the day to? <laughs> NL FIFA Gamer. Oh, yeah. NL FIFA Gamer uh... gets Crash of the day, a purposeful takeout, which uh, shouldn't be anything other than a drive, uh, than a rest ban for him. I feel. For me, I'm, I'm going to go for Billy because it was at such slow speed. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Oh, no. It was... I've got to... I my iPad. Oh, it was a small and silly mistake to make, really. So early into the race, so I'll give that to him. Oh, it's only a 78.3 megabit update. I'm going to do that now. So I do apologise if I don't see the comments because I'm going to be updating my uh, iPad. Kaomi is about to start the final lap, and it is starting to run back out on track. F1 Spider, I think that is, being approached by a wild Kyomi. The two Irishmen, please don't let him through. Have a fight for the position. Oh, boring. <laughs> These drives are boring in F3. I want to see action. Come on. Yeah, well, I mean, when they do, <laughs> when black cars do battle for the leaders, then you're going to say. I can't check. Oh, I can what? Check, um... what? Hmm? Van Dungan's catching Ficky Remix in the meantime. Oh, yeah. This is for second place out on track, but Ficky Remix is going to get lapped. <laughs> Shame it's not the other way around. Um, but oh well. Ficky's got to defend this position, of course. He doesn't want to get lapped uh, and try and make it the top three around that haven't been lapped. Right. Um, in fact, I tell a lie because Kaomi's lapped him, hasn't he? Uh, yeah, Ficky, yeah. Oh, Take there we go. Let him through. He's gone down the escape board, nearly. Yeah, he's let him through. Very wise. And here's Kaomi. Approaching the swimming pool section. He's taking it wonderfully. Like he has all throughout this Ooh. race. The only mistake he's yeah, made... coming through Raskas. ...was uh, when he chopped off a bit of his front wing. But uh, other than that, really, it's been such a dominant well, the drive. Irishman. Yeah, the Irishman's going to win. Kaomi went to in Monaco. With a uh, dominant victory. Um, F1 Spider just crossed the line in sixth there. Well, Steven and Brocka will be finishing seventh and fifth if they don't even have a crash. Van Dungan is the next one to be coming across the line. He's going to be followed in by Fakey Remix, who is a lap down, obviously. Van Dungan is going to be coming into the final corner now. And Van Dungan is going to be finishing second, extend his championship lead. Vicky Remix the win third, or Stevens just finished in seventh. Uh, Brock Arl is nearest to the line. Davy has stopped out on track. No, oh, oh my god, he's lacking oh. profusely there. Jesus Christ. Brock Arl crossed the line in eighth. Uh, Mad is coming across the line in fourth, and then we're just waiting on Davy, who is catching him. But at the end of the day, Mad has made a mistake, I think, somewhere on the final lap. Yeah. Oh no. Oh my. Jesus. David crossed the line in fifth. Oh, there and we that go. is Monaco over. Thank God for that. But we still have F2 yeah. and F1, of course, to deal with. We do. I hope they're more entertaining than what we've seen here. <laughs> well, this this well, race the first is good. Half of the race yeah. was great. The second yeah. half of the race 
absolutely abominable. <laughs> oh, that's well, the that way it goes worse sometimes. worse than real life F1. At times. Not right. <laughs> Kayomi wins though in Monaco. Van Dungen in second. Fakely Remix running off the top three in third. Mads in fourth. Davy fifth. F1 Sparta sixth. Or Steven seventh. Brockhard in eighth. They all finish. They should be getting uh, extra points for finishing this race. Eight finishes. I made a prediction of six, so I will take the uh, honours for that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Done the offs. Everyone getting penalties. 20th. Everyone oh bought Van Dungen getting penalties, yeah. Hinnipau, 10th. Glocky, NL FIFA Gamer, Ash, David Wallbank, Billy, Kel, Wicker Gumbo on his return. Absolutely horrible in 17th. And Jake on his debut. Well, I don't, at, a de at a debut, I don't think he wants to live back home. Put that way. Back in 18th place. Oh. oh, only the top 16 are showing on my screen. Oh, Wicker Gumber and uh, Jake are on the bottom there. It's a bit weird, oh, okay. There we go. Might be a glitch. But there we go, I am uh, going to jump off the commentary now because I've got to uh, tend my TFL boys. Uh, okay, right. I'll uh, I'll start inviting people. Thank you very much again for uh, yep. commentating. You're very welcome. I'll be here on Thursday, hopefully, for uh, I'm gonna call it B League ref for um, F2, not B League. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for that as I will start to interview people. But before that, we have. Right, let's uh, hear what the drivers have to say now. If you have any questions you want to ask the drivers then, you can put them down in the comments and I will uh, ask them. Just uh, tell me what specific driver you want me to ask the question to. Um, we'll be hearing from quite a few drivers. In just a moment, there's Mads, uh, Van Dungen, FIFA Gamer. So yeah, I think uh, yeah, definitely Van Dungen has extended his championship lead by quite a way. But Kaomi is now coming back in contention for it after a terrible race in Spain. He's driven perfectly well here today, so. That is good. Elixir saying, I could have made the F3 race today. Should I have raced since I can't make F2? Uh, Elixir, there might be a space for you in F4 or F1 if you can't make F2. So, um, But yeah, for F3, you could have raced the, today, but we had a full lobby, so... Um, yeah, I know for F3 and F2 the lobbies are quite full, but F1, uh, we get around 17, 18 people, so, yeah, I think you'll be able to join for that. Uh, Billy, this is taking a long time to, uh, search through, there we go. Alright, there are the invites sent out. Um... Let's go back to the screen here. Uh, Unseen says, I'm not 100% sure about that. Lix uh, Bass is rapid. He's just had a couple of bad races. Um, then there's you, both Man Amanda and Vien Me to factor in. Uh, Felix, what will the total number of DNFs be this week? In total, for all three formulas, I'm going to say 30. And we do have someone in, by the way, to interview. And first up, it will be uh, Mads, who finished in P4. 
Uh, you did get that, unfortunately, um, but very co tricky conditions there at the beginning. So, um, yeah, talk us through um, your first in. Of course, you started way down the field, so that was um, a good recovery from yourself. Yeah, I'm really happy about uh, the result. Uh, my main goal was just not to hit the wall, basically, so I didn't have to do an extra pit stop, and that worked out pretty well for me today. So I'll take that, even though I get left by uh, Kaomi and Tadomin, they were crazy around here. Way, way mega fast. So P4, I'll happily take that. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy right now. Mm, I mean, yeah, 12 points is a fantastic result from you. Um, and building on that momentum you had uh, last time out with 6th uh, or 7th that you got in Spain. So, um, yeah, how, how were like, the first lap or two or like the first couple of laps? Did you, uh, did you get involved in any incidents or um, did you avoid all the chaos that, that happened? No, I, ma I managed to avoid all of the chaos. I was starting at the back so I could see everything unfold in front of me. And I think some something happened on the first lap. Everyone drove really slowly up, up at the top of the hill at the start. So I just braked early and not damaged my front wing. So yeah, I managed to stay out of trouble today. So pretty happy with that. And I think uh, I think everyone drove really well today, especially the lap cars. So yeah, I, everyone was fair today. So. Served winner, and uh, yeah, I, I'm happy. I don't know if you can hear it, but um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, there is, um, of course, Canada next week to look forward to. Um, so, how would you say you'll get on in that race? I believe I have the results from last okay, don't try season. Anything silly I was uh, going to be crazy year, in there. Just do your best to stay out of trouble. You finish. Oh. You didn't finish in the top ten. I don't think. Uh, okay. I will this time. Yeah. Either that or you didn't race. I'm not too sure. Um, but anyway. Um, so yeah, how do you think you'll get on in uh, in that race? Uh, this Ooh. time next week. I will definitely be faster, but I think fourth place at Canada, as I got here, would be would be fine. It's a street circuit too, so you have to be careful. But top five, I think. All right. Well, congratulations on P4. Um, not quite a podium today, unfortunately, but still some great points for you. So, well done on finishing the race. That's a, a good achievement in itself. Yes. And yeah. Good luck for next week. Thank you. And we now move on to the person who finished the race uh, for the first time this season. It's so Stephen. Yay! Hello. <laughs> oh, yeah. Time. <laughs> yeah, you must be thrilled with that, but um, unfortunately, you did get lapped three times, so. Yeah, uh, um, yeah. I just didn't have the pace at all in the rain. I thought I kept crashing into the barriers and just kept pitting. And then I thought I'd be clever and try and come in early on the uh, uh, Ultra Softs, but. It was too wet still, and that just knocked my race up altogether. Yeah, um, yeah, we we did see you struggle a lot on those tyres, um, but uh, it could have been make or break for you in terms of gaining more positions, but it wasn't to be. Yeah, I'm so glad I got a seventh. Like, what is? Yeah, seventh. Alright, hold. Hang on a second. Alright, sorry about that, I had to uh, do something quickly. Anyway, right, um, so, oh, Stephen, yes. Um, how were the first couple of laps for you? Um, it looked very chaotic. Um, there was a crash yeah. ahead of you, I think. So, um, did you get involved in anything, or was it um, all good? I think I, I slightly damaged my front, one of my halves of front wing, so I thought I'd stay out a lot more, see if I could just try and keep a good pace, but... 
I just couldn't keep it, so I just went in the pits because I see my teammate coming the pits a lot before me. So I just kept out another lap and then I just came in. Yeah, yeah, I did spot that you had uh, damage as well. So, um, yeah, I mean that was unfortunate, uh, really. Yeah, I just thought to myself at the start. I knew there was going to be loads of retirements on the first lap, so as long as I kept it clean and just try not to try and avoid everyone. Mm, of course, and uh, you did a fantastic job of that. And uh, yep, yeah, you definitely deserve. Uh, those six valuable points that you earned here today. Um, so that's going to push you quite significantly up the standings with that uh, after your one point that you had in China, even though you retired from that one. So um, moving on then to the next race, it is Canada. And if I flick back to the results last season, you did finish in ninth place. Uh, so I have you got high hopes for that track? Do you think you'll do at least a lot better than you have done today. Yeah, I hope to get top six hopefully, but that's not being optimistic. But if I keep it clean, don't get involved in battles with people and try and avoid everyone, I'll just hopefully get a sixth or something. Right, well, um, yeah, congratulations today on uh, a, a fantastic result, and uh, yeah, all the best for uh, for next week. Uh, in Canada, or maybe as a reserve for F2, uh, if you want to do this race all over again. <laughs> Hopefully, if there's any space as well, I don't mind. It depends what I'm doing on Thursday. Okay, well, yeah, congratulations once again. I know you'll be very thrilled to see the checkered flag for once. And uh, yes, good yes, luck, too, right? Good luck for Canada. Um, congratulations to. Kaomi for winning the race. His first race in FRL, I think it is, isn't it? His first victory in the FRL. Yes, I think. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right. All right. Well done to him. All right. Bye. Okay. Thank you very much uh, for racing, O7. And next we have we got uh, Wide Low Billy here. Um, so then. Well, it was looking very good for you um, at the beginning. You made your way, I think, up to P5. Um, so yeah, talk us uh, how your first and only stint, unfortunately, was before you crashed. Talk, talk about um, like the start. How was that for you? Yeah, that that's unfortunate because I did I did catch it and it's such an easy mistake to make. Um, but yeah, no, that's a big shame. Oh yeah, it it didn't. But uh, there's always next time, Canada. How do you think you'll get on there? Ooh. Could we be seeing a, a a podium, maybe, if things go to plan? Okay, well, commiserations today uh, on that result, but um, yeah, all all the best for for Canada. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, without your crash, I think you would have been uh, challenging for, uh, for a podium. But um, yeah, this is uh, motor racing and things like that can happen, so that's unfortunate. Uh, but anyway, yeah, you drove a good race until that point, so uh, commiseration. <laughs> good luck for, uh, for the next race. And next up we have Van Dongen. 
who is still our championship leader. He had a championship lead of two points coming into this race, and he's extended that by a long way after FIFA Gamer retired. So I believe now Kaomi will be his nearest challenger. So, um, how was the first stint for you? How was the first couple of laps? Um, of course, you were in front of most of the chaos that happened. So yeah, how, how was the first stint for you in those tricky conditions? Oh yeah, I mean there was one point I think when the virtual safety car came out and uh, Kaomi stayed out. Yeah, that was a good call from you, but Kaomi stayed out and we thought, oh, maybe you could close on Kaomi. Uh, but unfortunately the gap stayed the same and uh, he pulled away at that point. So, yeah. Yeah, it took a very long time for the track to eventually dry out there. Uh, a few lap cars to negotiate as well, which is, uh, which was, uh, I think, okay. I think all people behave quite well um, in that instance. <laughs> yeah, I mean, asking the commentary box, see, we were just uh, commentating uh, as if they were over, like, real position. Uh, overtakes because there was hardly anything else to uh, talk about. There were there were huge gaps uh, at the end, but I have to say the first the first part of the race was brilliant. It was just the last couple of laps were, um, yeah, a bit. Uh, yeah, the start was chaotic, but uh, yeah, it kind of died down at the end. But that's that's okay because it's Monaco, and yeah. It's, you can't really, you know, expect everyone to finish a course here, or even half a field. Third, um, Fakey Remix got third, I think, in the McLaren. So, anyway, next up we got Canada, and if I look at my uh, race results from last season, you finished in P5. Um, so, of course, last season in Monaco you finished P3. And you finished second here today, so um, yeah. What do you think you can do in uh, in Canada? Exactly. Uh, yes, yes, it did. I believe. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting one if if it does rain. Um, but yeah, hopefully we get more finishers as well that would be a good sign as well but you've got uh, you extend your championship lead of course as I said so um, I, I know it's very early to say in the season but do you think now after reviewing these first six races the first third of the season nearly I think um, do you think you could you could win this championship if it goes like this <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you don't have your teammate to uh, to hold people up in <laughs> in um, in this race and the last race because Kip uh, unfortunately couldn't make it. So that has yeah that has damaged um, damaged Toro Rosso's um, championship a little bit, I think. Um, but anyway, so yeah. So who, uh, my final question before uh, I. Uh, I move on to the next driver. Is that um, who do you think will be who is your closest challenger now, um, for the championship? Because because of course we had FIFA Gamer, who won the last two races, uh, but now he's in this race he dropped off a lot, um, and we've now seen Kaomi, 
uh, who, who obviously won this race, uh, and he had brilliant pace. So, um, yeah, who do you think are the guys who, who are going to challenge you uh, in the next coming races for that um, first place in the championship? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, the only problem I think with David Warbank, unfortunately, and we'll get on to him, is that he is known for bottling races in great positions. Um, I, I mean, I think if he finished the race in the position that he crashed in, uh, from Australia, Bahrain, China, you know, Baku, I think he would be very close to you in the championship or maybe he might be leading I'm not quite sure but uh, yeah anyway um, congratulations on second place again that is a fantastic drive from you uh, once more and um, yeah good luck in uh, in the Canadian Grand Prix next week thank you very much and next up speaking of David Wallbank it is David Wallbank hello um, no, that was a good qualifying um, from you to uh, to get right up there. Um, but in the race, actually, the race was looking good for you. Um, you were swapping positions with Van Dungen early on um, until you uh, had an incident at Mirabeau. So, uh, before we talk about that, how was the first stint before your crash? load my dry setup on uh, for quality, so I had very little grip in the opening okay. few laps. Um, yes, yeah, so I was struggling with real okay. uh, grip. But apart from that, I was finding it quite good. Yeah, and um, well, I guess it's time to talk about it. So, coming into Mirabeau, um, what happened? Well, exactly. I had um, front wing damage from going through the um, fast chicken near the second to last corner. Swim and pull, I believe. Um, I lost a bit of it there. I was trying to break into Mirabar and I couldn't, so I went straight into the wall. Hello. Oh, yeah, that, that was a big shame because I think without that mistake, you would have definitely been. Uh, for uh, on course for a podium at least and uh, unfortunately that would be zero points for you but um, as always next time we've got Canada next so um, how do you think that will go for you? Uh, one of my favourites is Canada oh. well all the best for uh, for that race commiserations uh, today but yeah I hope you uh, strike back and start to uh, yeah, well, you did start your com campaign for the uh, the championship last time in Spain with second, but hopefully in Canada you can really start things um, start things off. And uh, yeah, I I hope you don't make any mistakes. I hope everything goes okay for you. So yeah, not being my my week in uh, league races this week. Mm, well, anyway, all the best for next week. I know Monaco's a tough one, so uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. So good luck, good luck for Canada. Thank you very much. And we have Ash R two seven to interview as the last driver. Um, right. So you qualified. Uh, six. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, a good lap there in quality. I think you were on a a, a fast one as well until you uh you crashed. I think so. That was unfortunate. No, it was the fourth India of not Billy, but his teammate. Oh right. Um, okay. Helped me out completely. Right. Um, well, anyway, so how was the um, the first uh, lap or so on in those tricky conditions for well, you? Wait, um, so I'm not sure what happened up front, but then the Red Bull um, 
the sideways going into ca casino. Um, I tried avoiding him because I didn't know it didn't look like he was dusting, so I tried going around. I got damage from the wall, hit on that lap, and then the Red Bull actually crashed. <laughs> he was having a great battle. Um, then I was doing defending, like I wasn't pushing the car, I was just keeping my car in the middle of the track, not letting him pass. Like not being dirty in that way, but you know what I mean. Yeah. I see. And then, um, I started pushing a bit, trying to catch the, um, bunch of cars because I saw, I heard you saying that, um, NLC for Gamer was, like, had a train. Kind of. So I chased. I got chased them, and then, as David did, I turned into early to the chicane. As a lot right. of people did, even. It was like most people wasn't. Mhm. Mm that was like, and then. Uh, your wheel just chips off instantly. Yeah, uh, yeah, it is on full damage, and yeah, we did see a lot of people make mistakes. It's it's Monaco, so of course you gotta expect that. And it was wet as well. So. Yeah, that just added things to another level, really. Um, I, I, you yeah. said I heard you saying about this stream that I was using the wall where the person crashed in the first lap. Um. I wasn't trying to use it, I made a mistake and slid. Oh, that, that was, I think that was James Head who said that, and I, yeah. Um, yeah, I understand that. Yeah, in those conditions it's difficult to control the car, and even if you do hit the wall in Monaco, if you hit it square on, then you can get away with it, but uh, at an angle, you'll get damaged, so I don't think you would have done that on purpose anyway, so, yeah, that, that's okay, don't worry about that. Um, Anyway, uh, so no points for you today, unfortunately, um, after making, I think, the same mistake as Billy nice. did. So, um, looking at the championship, you are in, you're, well, before this race, you were in 18th, you got 6 points. Um, so, yeah, how do you think Canada would, uh, how do you think you'll do around Canada, then? Canada is one of my favourite tracks, but... I might not make it because, like, I can't make too many races. I try to make as many as I can. Yeah. Okay, well, all, all the best for uh, the next race that you compete in anyway. And, um, yeah, commiserations on this I result. Should, I should be in one of the next races in East Canada, Austria, and France, isn't it? And yeah. they're three of my best tracks. Right, yeah, it, it'll be Canada, France. France, then Austria. I think that's the order. Oh. Yeah, we follow the real F1 calendar, so yeah, you can just check up on that. But uh, yeah, anyway, so yeah, good luck for the next race, anyway. Thank you. And uh, that is it, I believe. Sorry. That's all the interviews done for today. So we, I will have to end it here. Uh, so thank you for watching everybody um, next race will be Canada uh, for F3 but we also have F2 and F1 to look forward to around Monaco uh, F2 Monaco Grand Prix will be uh, Thursday at 7pm and that will be live on this channel the stream will probably will start a few minutes before the race, and um, F1 that will be starting at 6 p.m. on Saturday for Monaco, and that will be streamed on this channel as are every other race. Um, the standings will be up soon. Oh, we have one more driver to interview. Don't so... you even dare, boy boy. Don't you even dare. Uh... The joke's died. I'm sorry. I don't uh... think anyone is that. Okay. Oh, that's a big shame. Right. Anyway. So, I believe we are about to finish. 
Um, so I'd like to thank everyone for watching once again. Um, and I have to say, there will be uh, a lot of uh, stewards inquiries into this race. Um, not as much as I thought, which is good. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to look into things, of course, as we always do. And um, yeah, so F2 and F1 to look forward to. F3 will be the same time, 7 o'clock p.m. on Monday, UK time. And that will be for Canada. Um, and yeah, oh yeah, standings. The the standings, they will be available within uh, the next couple of hours. I'll um, put them on Twitter and Discord. So make sure you are in the chat or follow us on there. Because you can see all the details uh, on there. And, um, yep, I think that should be it for now. There will be, uh, in terms of announcements, um, nothing yet. We're still focusing on F1 2018 and getting things perfect. Um, so, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for, um, for today. Mm -hmm. Unless anyone, any, anyone else wants to add anything, I don't think. I will win. And there's a the broken track. And there we go. So, until next time, thank you for watching. And, uh, yeah, until the F2 Monaco Grand Prix. And actually, oh yeah, if you haven't subscribed, by the way, then please do. But as I crash off like Vettel did, uh, thank you for watching. And until next time. Goodbye. Thanks for more views. What was that? As you can see, viewers, we have problems. Alright, well, David Coulthard says goodbye.